you lose all your hair before you're 24 and you want more hair on your head hello welcome to our Q&A session today I'm addressing the question of um, hair multiplication via FUE um, I've gotten a number of emails uh, people inquiring about uh, certain techniques um, where a few like procedures are done and uh, reportedly there, there's multiplication of hair happening and a lot of uh, inquiries I get as to what that is all about. Well, um, I can only go off what I've seen by way of publication and I've only seen one publication from the same uh, party and uh, from what I can see of that publication, uh, the, uh, the, the shot of it is that uh, this is just FUE using uh, very small uh, punches. That's what I could see, uh, I could take from the, from the publication. And from accounts I've read on the internet uh, and what I've seen, pictures of the graphs being extracted. Uh, it just looks like plain FUE with um, utilization of tiny punches. Uh, this is using tiny punches and FUE is something I've done in the very early stages of uh, my practice and abandoned it for good reasons. Uh, so I will just talk about FUE using tiny punches and I will leave it to the viewer to decide whether uh, multiplication results in that from that or not. <laughs> So when you do follicular unit extraction, you do it using different size punches. And in my practice, we customize the size depending on the size of the follicle. Now, uh, a hair follicle, a hair follicular unit comes in various forms in terms of the number of hair follicles within the unit. So a single hair follicle can have only one follicular unit could have two follicular units, three follicular units, or even four, or even more follicular units. Each of those is considered a follicular unit. Now, when you do an FUE, depending on the size of the punch you are using or the cutting instrument, you are likely to remove either all the follicular units in uh, all the follicles in the follicular uh, unit. Let's say you are dealing with uh, three uh, head follicular units. So if you are dealing with a three hair follicular unit and you use a punch that can only engulf two of them because of its diameter, then you'll be removing three hairs out of, I mean two out of the three hairs, leaving one hair behind. Now if you do that and plant, transplant those two hairs in the balding area, you're going to have two hairs growing in the balding area and one hair growing in the donor area. Now you've not created any new hair. You just took two out of three. And when you put all that together, no hair multiplication has occurred from that. I repeat, no hair multiplication or cloning <clears throat> has resulted from that. So <clears throat> the idea that that is hair multiplication of any form is erroneous and misleading. <clears throat> now, that's not all actually. If you are able to get away with that consistently, then you know, at least you performed a decent transplant. Well, what will happen with this kind of procedure when you use a small punch is that sometimes when you go on to remove those two, because it is a blind process, the one hair that is left behind can get damaged. So if you do this 10 times, nine, five, six times out of 10, that hair that is left behind will get damaged. And in those instances, a good number of them will not even grow. So you might end up taking two out of three hairs, getting your two hairs to grow in your balding area, and that one hair that is left behind, not only will it not result in new hair growth, you may actually lose it. So there are disadvantages to using small punches in doing FUE. The disadvantage is that, one, you're going to get only one or two hair follicles in the balding area, so your coverage is thinner. And two, a good number of the hairs that are left behind in the donor actually fall off. So you may have disproportionate thinning of the donor area in small punched FUE compared to 
regular FEA where uh, regular point sizes or point sizes are customized to the sizes of your follicular unit. So side by side, a procedure that utilizes very small punches will show thinner coverage in the bulging area with a more with more severe donor depletion compared with normal FUE, which will show you thicker coverage on the top and less severe donor thinning. Now enter advanced FUE, where uh, non-head hair is utilized. You can now use body hair and beard hair actually to improve on both the, of those scenarios, be it the head follicular unit uh, extraction that uses small punches or even the regular follicular unit uh, process. In both instances, when you use hair from the beard and body, you can actually augment the density in the door, in the in the uh, balding area, so you have more coverage, and also have less uh, donor depletion. Or you can actually uh, augment or increase the density in an area that has been ravaged by FUE uh, uh, that utilized uh, very small punches or even regular FUE. So in a nutshell. Um, uh, there is no hair multiplication or hair cloning that occurs in present day hair transplantation, including the small punch. In fact, when you use small punches like that, uh, the 0 0.6, 0 0.5 millimeters that is mentioned, you're going to have very thin coverage on your head and you're going to have premature and severe donor depletion. I've seen already uh, a patient that has presented to me with that kind of uh, situation after one or two procedures using very tiny punches where the donor area is already depleted and the coverage is insufficient and now they are looking for body hair transplantation to make up for what in the first place is not really very necessary should not have happened thank you very much Pick up the phone, make an appointment for you.